Peripheral neuropathy is a term that refers to a range of disorders affecting the peripheral nervous system. This condition, characterized by nerve damage, manifests as weakness, numbness, and pain, typically in the hands and feet. My name is Dr. Andrew Schneider, a podiatrist based in Houston with over two decades of experience. Peripheral neuropathy is like a miscommunication within your body, sending incorrect signals from your extremities to your brain. Although commonly linked to diabetes, Peripheral neuropathy can stem from various causes such as trauma, infection, or inherited disorders. In today's video, we'll illuminate the causes, symptoms, and current treatments for peripheral neuropathy to help you better handle this intricate condition. We'll investigate why there's no definitive cure yet, shedding light on the intricacies of your body's peripheral nervous system. But before I do, let others know about these videos. Please like, comment, hit the subscribe button and share on social media. This will help others find this information. Peripheral neuropathy is a term for conditions caused by damage to your peripheral nerves. These nerves, situated outside of your brain and spinal cord, carry messages to and from your brain to the rest of your body. When they're damaged, the communication between your brain and body gets disrupted. There's a wide range of causes, including diabetes, infections, genetic disorders, and exposure to toxins. Unfortunately, this damage is often irreversible. While treatments exist to manage symptoms and control the underlying cause, there's no known cure. It's a frustrating condition, as it often leads to weakness, numbness, and pain, usually in your hands and feet. You might experience a variety of symptoms if you're dealing with peripheral neuropathy, as the types and severity can greatly differ based on the nerves affected. You may feel a constant numbness or tingling, usually starting in your hands or feet. It's often likened to the sensation of wearing an extra sock. Sharp or burning pain, particularly at night, is another common complaint. Different types of peripheral neuropathy can lead to various symptoms. Sensory neuropathy affects sensation and movement causing problems like balance issues or falls. Motor neuropathy impacts muscle movement. Diabetes is a common cause of peripheral neuropathy, which can result in nerve damage throughout your body, particularly in your hands and feet. High blood sugar levels, a common feature of diabetes, can injure nerve fibers throughout your body. But why does this happen? It's believed that the excess sugar interferes with the nerve's ability to transmit signals. Additionally, the high sugar levels weaken the walls of the small blood vessels that supply your nerves with oxygen and nutrients. This causes the nerves to become damaged or even die. Unfortunately, once these nerves are damaged, they can't regenerate. That's why even with good diabetes management, you may still experience symptoms of peripheral neuropathy. While diabetes is a common culprit, Autoimmune diseases and infections also play a significant role in the onset of peripheral neuropathy. If you've been diagnosed with an autoimmune condition like lupus or rheumatoid arthritis, your body's immune system could mistakenly attack your nerves, leading to neuropathy. It's a scary thought, isn't it? But don't panic. Not everyone with an autoimmune disease or infection develops neuropathy. It's just one of the potential complications. Additionally, Treating the underlying condition often helps control the neuropathy. You can't change your diagnosis, but you can manage your condition and help prevent or reduce the neuropathy symptoms. Chemicals lurking in your environment or certain prescribed medications may also trigger peripheral neuropathy. Exposure to heavy metals like lead, mercury, and arsenic can damage your nerves. The same holds true with some industrial chemicals and solvents. Be cautious about what you're exposed to, particularly in a work setting. Not all medications are harmless either. Some forms of chemotherapy used for treating cancer can cause neuropathy. It's crucial to discuss potential side effects with your doctor before starting any new medication. In addition, some individuals are born with a higher risk of developing peripheral neuropathy due to an inherited traits. These genetic factors can't be altered. They're part of your DNA blueprint. Conditions like Charcot-Marie Tooth Disease are genetically inherited and can lead to peripheral neuropathy. You may question why doctors simply can't fix these genetic issues. Well, it's not that straightforward. 
Genetics is an intricate field, and we're still learning about it. And even if we find a flawed gene, it's extremely difficult to modify it without causing other issues. So while you can't change your genes, you can manage the condition with lifestyle adjustments and treatments to alleviate the symptoms. It would make sense to wonder why the nerves don't just heal. Your nerves are intricate, delicate structures. There's not simply wires that can just be easily fixed. Each nerve is a complex system itself with numerous subtypes of neurons, each requiring specific conditions to heal. Repairing them isn't as straightforward as mending a broken bone. It's like trying to fix a computer by manually adjusting each transistor. You also have to take into account that the nerves are scattered throughout your body, making them hard to reach. So while scientists are working relentlessly for a cure, the complexity of the task means that finding a cure isn't going to be an overnight process. Another hurdle in finding a cure for peripheral neuropathy lies in the diverse causes behind the condition. You see, it's not just one thing that triggers the nerve disorder. It could be diabetes, kidney disease, autoimmune diseases, or even certain medications. Each cause might require a different treatment approach. Additionally, as many as 40% of neuropathy patients have what's termed idiopathic peripheral neuropathy, meaning doctors can't pinpoint the cause at all. This diversity makes it tough to develop a one-size-fits-all cure. And that's not all. Sometimes, multiple factors combine to cause your neuropathy. So even if you tackle one cause, others may still be wreaking havoc on your nerves. It's like trying to hit a moving target. On top of the diverse causes, the inherent difficulty in reversing nerve damage further complicates the search for a cure for peripheral neuropathy. Nerves aren't like skin. They don't regenerate easily. Once damaged, they're often impaired for good. This challenging reality makes it difficult to find a cure. Imagine a highway where the flow of traffic stimulizes nerve impulses. When the highway is damaged, it's equivalent to a roadblock that disrupts the traffic. You can't just plow through it or build around it. You need to repair the road itself, which is a complex task. For nerves, this involves intricate biochemistry and delicate cellular processes. This complexity makes curing peripheral neuropathy a challenging task, but rest assured, scientists are working relentlessly on it. To effectively manage peripheral neuropathy, it's crucial to handle the underlying conditions with current treatment approaches. If you have diabetes, it's vital to keep your blood sugar levels in check. Regular exercise, a healthy diet, and medication can all help. If your neuropathy is caused by alcoholism, reducing your intake or seeking help to quit entirely could reduce your symptoms. For those with autoimmune diseases, your doctor might recommend medication to suppress the immune system. If your neuropathy is due to a vitamin deficiency, boosting your levels through diet or supplements might be the way forward. Scientific research is leading to promising advancements in nerve regeneration, offering hope for those suffering from peripheral neuropathy. You'll be excited to know that new treatments are on the horizon. One such advancement is development of nerve growth factor therapies, which stimulate nerve repair and have shown promising results in early trials. Another breakthrough is the creation of bioengineered nerve grafts that can replace damaged nerves, restoring function and reducing pain. These advancements aren't just concepts, they're becoming a reality. With continued research, the future holds potential for effective treatments. While a cure isn't here yet, these strides in nerve regeneration gives us a reason to remain hopeful. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Please take a moment to like, comment, and share on social media. Be sure to hit subscribe so you won't miss another video. If you have peripheral neuropathy and don't know where to turn next, we can schedule a time to review your symptoms and develop a course of action. The link to request an appointment is also in the description. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.